These are the solutions to the odd numbered problems in level three. A bullet is moving at a speed of 367 meters per second when it embeds into a lump of moist clay. The bullet penetrates for a distance of 0 0.0621 meters. Determine the acceleration of the bullet while moving into the clay. So just to clarify what's happening here is we have this lump of clay and a bullet is moving into it at 367 meters per second. The bullet's gonna move into it until it's stopped. So this is the initial velocity, and the final velocity here will equal zero. And the length that it travels into the clay is gonna be 0 0.0621 meters. So we need to determine the acceleration of the bullet. So as usual, I'm going to start by making the SUVAT table. So what do I know? Well, I know that the starting velocity is 367 meters per second. The final velocity will be zero because it's coming to a stop. The displacement is going to be 0 0.0621 meters. And we're looking for the acceleration, so we don't care about the time. So we need something that has s, u, v, and a in it. So that's going to be v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So we need to isolate a here. So I'm going to start by subtracting u squared from both sides. And then I'm going to divide out 2s. And so this will be my equation for A. So when I plug in my numbers, I'm going to get a total acceleration of negative 1,084,452 negative meters per second. So all that that's saying is that for the bullet to be moving this fast and stop in this short of a distance, its change in velocity must have been incredibly large in a very small amount of time. So this is that exact change in velocity in that amount of time. Number 15 says Ricky Henderson, baseball's record holder for stolen bases, approaches third base. He dives head first, hitting the ground at 6.75 meters per second and reaching the base at 5.91 meters per second, accelerating at negative 5.11 meters per second. Determine the distance Ricky slides across the ground before touching the base. Okay, so this is gonna be his starting velocity when he first hits the ground. And this is going to be his final velocity as he hits the base. And we know he's accelerating at negative 5.11 meters per second squared. Determine the distance for he slides, so that's gonna be the displacement before touching the base. So we don't care about time. So the equation that we're going to use here is v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So solving for s, gets me this equation. So now I'm just going to plug in those numbers and see what I get.
So when I plug all of these into my calculator and solve them, I'm gonna get 1.04 meters. Number 17 says it was once recorded that a jaguar left skid marks that were 290 meters in length. Assuming that the jaguar skidded to a stop with a constant acceleration of negative 3.9 meters per second squared, determine the speed of the jaguar before it began to skid. So the marks that it leaves on the road, very advanced drawing of a car, If you think about it, the marks that it leaves on the road are going to be the exact displacement that it traveled as it was hitting its brakes. So we know that its displacement as it was hitting the brakes was 290 meters. And it's skidding to a stop, so that means its final velocity is zero. And its acceleration is negative 3.90 meters per second squared. And we wanna know the speed of the Jaguar before it began to skid. Okay. A disproportionate amount of this equation specifically on this worksheet, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So here I'm trying to isolate u. So this is my equation for u. Now I can just plug in my numbers. Kind of ran out of room there. So when I multiply this out, I get 47.6 meters per second. 